Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. Pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. All right? All right? Capiche? Capiche. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Um, it is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. I also would like to say thank you guys for all your donations, um, all your super thanks. It is all greatly appreciated. Ooh, the smoke. It's smoking. Okay. I hope you guys are having a lovely day on this Monday afternoon. Okay. I hope you're vibing in this new moon Aries solar eclipse situation. We're going to kind of dive into what this new moon in Aries is though. Okay. I feel like this might be helpful for some of you. Um, Let's find out. I'm going to be reading out of this book. So if you guys are wondering why I'm looking down, I'm going to be reading out of this book. I got it off Amazon. You can purchase it probably somewhere else, but that's where I got it. But let's get into it. It says the Aries moon calls you into putting yourself first and following your own path. It lights your inner fire and dynamic, courageous energy. It brings help to burn through all that keeps you stuck, to ram through your constraints, and to push you into your individual greatness and real purpose on this earth. That sounds exciting to me. Okay, we have Aries will help you to take the first step towards believing in yourself and telling the world all about it. Okay, so if there is some sort of like project that you started up and you couldn't finish, you need to get your ass back into that and finish it up, okay? There's something here about like really pushing yourself at this time to 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 really accomplish or achieve whatever you really want to achieve, okay? Um work with the moon. Okay? It it's there to give you a helping hand. All right? Let's see. There's something here about getting out of your ego or not allowing your ego to get in your way. Okay. It says Mars will bring up all the fears for survival that you allow to control your life and hold you back as the ego tries to protect you. It says on the other hand, Mars also uses the same energies to prepare you, propel you forward to achieve. If you are brave enough and to allow your your purpose and to live to your full potential it says excitement and fear feel exactly the same in the body so let me repeat that excitement and fear feel exactly the same in the body all right and so in all mo moments you have a choice are you going to use this feeling to hold you back or to propel you towards fulfilling your potential don't allow fear to hold you back, child. Please don't. Don't be like me. Don't do not do what I did. Do better. Please. It took me a long time to film a freaking video for YouTube. All right? Look at me now, child. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can do it too. I'm not saying y'all dream is to be on YouTube or whatever. I'm just saying I'm using myself as an example, okay? Let me keep going. Let's find out what's going on with this new moon in Aries. It says, um, Aries season marks the beginning of the astrological new year, the start of spring and the spring equinox. And it says, and this new new moon marks new beginnings, okay? So that's good, that's good, that's good. It says, use this fiery new moon of action and energy to start over, especially if you don't feel that the year has quite brought you all that you hoped for. It says it's your second big chance of the year to make a change, like hitting the reset button, okay, or the refresh button. That's what's going on. Some of you guys, some of you guys could be seeing zero zero. You guys could be seeing zero 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 a lot, lots of zeros. If so, this message is definitely for you. You guys could be seeing one forty four, four four four, okay, three three three, one one one, or eleven eleven. Okay, we have used the Aries new moon to take charge of your life. These are some sort of, these are homework ideas for some of you, okay, um, to help work with the, the energy of the moon. It says, make a 12-month plan of what you want this astro astrological year to bring you. Get clear and focus and make deadlines and commitments. It also says, get clear on your soul calling and purpose. 
You could do that by making a list of all the things that you are good at and that you love to do. Write a list of that. It's going to give you a, a better um, direction of or make something. It's going to make it more clear to you. Okay. We have put yourself first. It says promise one way you will put yourself first every day during the waxing moon. Okay. So, and then it says this may be as, be as simple as a 10 minute dedication just to you each morning. Okay. So that's for Semya Naraya. Let me see what else. Yeah, so these are some of the questions you might ask yourself too. Um, where is it at? Ask yourself what you really want to do. Okay, there's something here definitely about your root chakra. Okay, something about someone's root chakra. What is the primal or instinctive idea or dream that's coming up for you over and over again? Okay. That you keep suppressing. Okay, that your that your ego keeps suppressing, keeps telling you it, it, it can't work, it's not possible. It's whatever your passion you're passionate about okay that's that's the thing you need to go towards okay what else what else what else okay there we go perfect <sighs> let's talk about eclipses um it says eclipses tend to come along to reveal truths bring things to your attention and help put you back on the right path Creating endings and new beginnings. The energy of eclipses can often be quite deep and intense, but they are powerful portals for huge transformation and opportunities for growth. So that's what's going on today. Okay? It's beautiful is what it is. Let's see what's going on. What do they need to hear, spirit? What do they need to hear? Also, there's a need for you guys because it's also Mercury Retrograde. So there's also a need for y'all to just go with it. If there's something that's just not working out during this time, don't force it to work. Just just go with what's going on. You know what I mean? Um, that's for some of you. Okay. But there is something here you need to push through. Okay. I don't know. You, you, you'll know. Like, for instance, if your your whole plan for the day is to go to the grocery store or something, just for instance, and then you go outside and you realize that you lost your card or you don't, something, whatever, just go with it. Just be like, okay, I, today's not the day. Let me just plan it for tomorrow. I don't know, something like that. Ciao. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? But when it comes to your dreams and your goals, things that are bigger, things that are more long-term, focus on that don't allow nothing to stop you okay thank you okay so we have the 12th house something here about your faith it's really important to have faith okay to believe in yourself to believe what you're destined to be for some of you you already know what you're destined to be it's something that keeps it's an idea that keeps coming up in your brain it's it's a an inspiration you keep getting inspired to do something but then your 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 ego tells you no it's scary <laughs> whatever that is holy spirit holy angels tell me more yeah, this is something that you could be suppressing, okay, or hiding or something. We got the moon here. There's something here that someone might need to accept. I'm also getting there's someone here that's that's finally accepting that you're in your destiny. That's for some of you, not all y'all, or that um that 
that you're on the right track or, or someone's finally accepting they can't stop you. Someone is very much in their feelings. This is giving me a very, um, a, like a surrendering kind of feeling here. I'm also picking up something about Moldavite is of significance. There's a lot of transformations happening right now. Maybe you guys could work with, uh, maybe it'll be helpful for you to work with Moldavite at this time. I think I do. Moldavite. It looks like this. I'm also getting like it's important for you guys to set some time aside for yourself today or today in the next few days to really like listen to yourself, like your feelings, like how you're feeling. Reflect, okay? Go within. Because all the y'all answers are within you. You don't need to pay for a tarot card reading. They're inside. For free. I'm <laughs> just letting you know, okay? Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? You just gotta, you gotta start trusting yourself. I don't know who I'm talking to. Someone needs to start trusting themselves more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What's going on here? I'm also getting like somebody here is going to, someone's deciding to take bold, bold action or something. Someone's deciding to take some sort of bold action here. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. But there's something here about taking, taking action, okay? Somebody likes what they see and they're going after it. Okay, this could be in regards of love, career, finances, something, Joe. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting drawn to this deck. I'm just going to use it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening here? Somebody could be watching me that's like avoiding eating sugar or something. You need to just um, love yourself or something. Go go get yourself some ice cream. Something. I don't know who that's for. That's only, that's, if you're diabetic, don't listen to me. But I'm talking, I feel like there's someone here who's trying to like restrict themselves of stuff. I don't know what that's about. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What's happening? What do they need to hear? What's this energy about? We got beauty. Yeah, you're beautiful. Okay, we got beauty here. Someone cannot deny their attraction to you, okay? I feel like there's someone here that's going to shoot their shot in some way. You guys could definitely be seeing the number 11 a lot. Somewhat, something about the month of November could be of significance. Okay, I could be speaking to a Scorpio or you're dealing with one or there's somebody here ending something so they can start something new with you. That's for some of you, not all y'alls. Okay. Or something here is definitely going to be changing for you. All right. We have true beauty lies under the service to find it. You must travel within Empress shine your light. Be yourself. I'm definitely speaking to an Empress. I'm also getting like somebody is now seeing you as their empress. Okay, someone sees your true brute, your true, <laughs> I was gonna say your true booty, but <laughs> I mean, I was gonna say beauty, not booty. Um, we got differences at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you and another person, um, there's some sort of differences here between y'all. Maybe that's why someone didn't see you as their empress before. Um, maybe they just thought you guys came from two different you know size of the track or some someone really feels like they have to communicate some sort of feelings to you 
or some sort of truth something about somebody's throat chakra is of significance something about turquoise as well um the number 34 could be of significance uh the number seven as well there's something here about spiritual growth maybe someone here whoever this individual is they have done some sort of inner healing here Whoever this person is, um, they could possibly be a, vi a vibrational match for you, okay? It says you can learn from people who are different from you. So you and this person could have a cultural difference or an age difference, okay? Or you guys, is, your personalities could be like opposites or something. Like, this could be a situation even when it comes to, like, how you guys operate. Like, one person could be very energetic and hyper. And the other one's more, like, calm and grounded. Okay? Something like that. Or one's more, like, intellectual and the other one's more silly or something. What's going on? Divine Light, the number 33, chow. says the light of divine love is shining through you and in your life right now awakening renewal restoration birth listen y'all something beautiful is being reborn into your life okay it's like life is being I don't know something I, something about whatever this is it's beautiful okay for some of you you might be left speechless for what's about to occur in your life some sort of change here oh <laughs> what the hell going on spirit we got self-reflection. Some of y'all need to sit there and self-reflect, like I was saying before. Something here about being in solitude, or you could be in solitude at this time. It says, steer your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in a healthy direction. Okay. So, right now, it's important for you to keep your thoughts positive, because you need to start working with the energy like don't start thinking negatively because like the divine is trying to let you know right now you got something beautiful and very positive headed your way okay Ooh. something is going to be put into balance for you for sure i'm also getting there's a choice that's going to be coming up the number 11 keeps popping up or the number two And then we have at the bottom of the deck, you can't wake a person who's pretending to be asleep. There's someone here that already knows something. They know. They know that you know or something. Child, what's going on? We have openness. Listen, Empress, you're you're being told to be remain open. That's your job right now. Just to be open, maintain a positive attitude. Okay? Listen to your inner wisdom. There's something here about you being open and receptive is imperative at this time. It says create the atmos the atmosphere of openness and trust without the game playing, okay? We got juggling at the bottom of the deck. Two of coins. Juggling. Same thing. Oof. Right after that, the ten of coins, child. Okay, listen. There's a choice here. Maybe someone's seeing you as someone they can have everything with. Maybe they're making a choice about this. Someone here could be 39 or 38 years old. The calling you're gonna have to make a choice 
It says, all that glitters. It says, don't be fooled by appearances. What seems bad might turn out good. So there could be somebody here that you're viewing in a, ne <laughs> in a negative light that could actually be a blessing for you. Or I don't know how this is going to go. This could go different ways for many of you. This doesn't have to just be about love. This could be about work. This could be about business. This could be about your children. This can be about a lot of things. It says... Um, look deeper, okay? Make a decision with love. There's something here about unconditional love as well. Because we do have the word judging on here. Because So you could be judging someone harshly or something. Or, or this is what you're being asked to do is to avoid judging someone harshly. We have the calling. Also with this Aries energy, some of y'all could be really like... Some of y'all might need to watch your attitude, <laughs> myself included, okay? We have expect to receive the news that you've been patiently waiting for. So you are going to be receiving some sort of call, text, okay? Some sort of information is going to be coming to you, okay? Some sort of communication. Someone wants to tell you something. There's somebody here who's done the, mo the much needed soul, soul searching and they want to come in and communicate something to you. Someone doesn't, someone no longer wants to be in solitude or something. Child. Ooh! Something here about divine timing. I feel like there's someone here that doesn't want you to give them the final goodbye. Empress, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if this is good or not. says it's time to permanently close this chapter in your life no second chances not for you closed path and then we have surrender to divine timing the universe is looking out for you trust not the right time surrender maybe something here in the past wasn't the right time child let me see what else is going on we have those oh yeah revolution and that's and that's the eclipse so Lord have mercy. What's the bottom of the deck? Trailblazer. It says, those that lie down with dogs get up with fleas, child. There's somebody here that's going to come in with some sort of love offer or some sort of offer in general. It doesn't have to be about love. This could be even business, okay? It's going to make it look like it's... Maybe this might leave you speechless, whatever this offer is, Okay. Maybe this is something here that you feel like is going to be like the, like the holy grail type of situation. Like, oh, right. But it's like, eh, don't, don't believe everything that you hear. Don't believe everything that you see. Okay. There's something here about looking di uh, deeper or using your discernment when it comes to whatever this offer is or where this offer is coming from. Okay. What's the purpose behind the offer? Should you accept it or not? Okay. Somebody here um, may be here to like infect you, child. Maybe you're being asked to close the path from this person to try to even try to do so. We have dramatic change. If something here is going to be acting. Something's going to be dramatic. We have the upper world is helping you transform and get rid of your war your worries here. Revolution. Something is... Whatever communication that's coming in, it's going to change something here. Or someone here might come in with some sort of dramatic communication, y'all. It says you must be fearless in order to pave your new path. It says unique, groundbreaking, new discovery. If, okay, whoever I'm speaking to, if you decide to be fearless and pave a new path, whatever that means to you, it's going to lead you to some sort of victory, okay? And this victory is going to make you realize how magical you truly are and how wise you truly are. It's going to help you learn how to really trust your inner magic, your inner wisdom. There's something here about like, 
child, I feel like this is the test. Let me see what the hell going on. Because it's like, it's putting me through all types of emotions. Like, I feel like some of y'all... Something's going to be emotional, whatever it is. What is this communication, child? Because what's this... For some of you, the calling here, this information that's coming in, it could even be coming in as like in the form of a download. Like you might be getting a download about like what your path is, like the path you're supposed to go down, the path for your life purpose, what you're destined to do, why you came here, right? And that might make you a little scared and you're being told not to allow fear to stop you, okay? It, whatever you're being destined to do, maybe it's something that has not been done before, okay? That's for some of you, not all y'all, all right? Yeah, somebody here really does not want you to go after something here. Oh, yeah, you're being asked to, to temper that gosh dang, um... <laughs> You're being, you're being asked to temper yourself, okay? When some sort of information comes in. Six of swords. Whoever I'm speaking to, like, you're really... You're really getting yourself away from things that are like not for you. Yeah, you you being you moving to karma waters is your justice. Okay? You getting away from someone or getting out of a certain situation that's no longer serving you or not working for you, you finally saying a goodbye to somebody or to something is best for whoever I'm speaking to. Okay? I could be speaking to a Libra, a Taurus, okay? don't have to be all right we have the queen of coins at the bottom of the deck i don't like the way she's looking at me why do we have final what do we got the final goodbye yeah final goodbye to some sort of partnership or man it's going to be some sort of sad news. We got the man here, partnership, we got the sadness. There's going to be some sort of sad news or there's a man here that's going to be sad because maybe they know you don't want to be with them. They know that you're going to be having some sort of official person come in for you. Okay, listen. So there's somebody here that wants they see your value. They want to come in and they want you to be vulnerable. They want you to be receptive. To something here that they're going to come in and offer you but it's like this is somebody here you had to escape from this is somebody here who put you through some shit listen y'all regardless if this person comes in with the truth or not maybe that's that's what's supposed to happen maybe that's justice or that's what's going to create some sort of balance on both sides uh, on each side okay maybe something wasn't at the right time or uh, or someone ran out of time child why do we have those who lie down with dogs get away please Somebody here might have to go to court for some sort of STD or spreading some sort of STD. Maybe you're going to hear about that. It's a younger man who was going around spreading STDs or who's having some sort of legal issues. Okay. Or there's somebody here, if it's not about that, it, there could be somebody here who was um, trying to get you into some sort of legal troubles. Or trying to get you um, tied up or involved in something that you had nothing to do with. It's almost like if I'm going down, I'm going to bring everybody else with me. This could have been somebody that you broke things off with. Ciao. This could be a karmic couple as well. Ooh. Something about a funeral. Somebody passing away. A woman could have passed away. Say goodbye black magic okay lost job so somebody here is going through a lot of endings and losses for 
for playing games with you. Somebody here was really trying to get you to um lose out on some shit. Someone didn't want you to have this official person in your life. Man, what the hell going on? So, okay, so basically what I'm getting is everybody that you cut off from who's not supposed to be in your life these people are finally going to have the final goodbye they're going to be eclipsed out of your life and there's going to be a lot of changes happening that are positive in your life okay but you're also being asked to be brave enough to like go after what's what's for you it says your victory is just around the corner you have won the battle it says mastery successful outcome dominion won't win okay you could have won over some sort of spells that were casted over you there could have been a sorcerer, some sort of witch or something, trying to do something. What do we... I, maybe this this uh, sorcerer or witch is uh, the queen of coins. Okay? Maybe this is someone here who was trying to steal your coins. Or someone here who was doing something to you out of greed. I don't, I don't like the way she looks. Tell me. <laughs> Why do we have the revolution here? Abundance. Chow. Something's, something's going to dramatically change when it comes to your finances. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Maybe someone knows this. They really didn't want this to happen, Chow. And if this isn't about finances, this could be a major or dramatic change when it comes to your social life. When it comes to friends, you meeting people, people teaming up with you, people working with you, okay? Um, this also could be talking about inner wealth, all right? Some sort of spiritual inheritance, some sort of literal inheritance, okay? If someone actually did pass away. I'm also getting somebody here was doing some sort of spells or casting so that you would never be open Someone didn't want you to create an atmosphere of openness or trust anybody. This could have been someone who was envious of your beauty or the or the shine that you have, the light that you shine from within, okay? Or the fact that you decided to accept yourself and be yourself. Someone was envious of that. Somebody wanted to close your path. Let me have divine light. You're getting justice for this is what's happening. Yeah, it's something, this, something's going to come into the form of an unexpected reward. It says sudden financial change, unexpected improvement, award, prize, gratification, cash, pocket money, tips, bonus, pay raise, profit, insurance, payout, wealthy person, business contract. Some of you, okay, so listen, like I was saying, all that glitters is not gold. So there also is something here about like some sort of form of trickery when it comes to some sort of business contract or someone coming in to offer you something, okay? Or this is somebody here, they feel they feel like they were tricked because they maybe there was someone here who was paid cash or was promised some sort of prize or reward if they came in and lied down with you so that you could get fleas in some way, you know, metaphorically or... <laughs> Or literally what's going on spirit the number 27 there's something here about um you learning some sort of lesson that's why something is going to be awakened within you or there's something here that's going to be renewed or restored what whatever was once lost i'm also getting all those beauty spells that somebody out here was doing to you you about to get prettier i don't know how <laughs> that's what's going on tell me more Or handsomer, flip where needs to go, child. Yeah, someone was advising some younger man to do some shit. To do something to you? This person's now realizing it wasn't as it was as it seemed? Or someone here was trying to convince somebody that you were um something somebody who was bad or someone who to be to be feared? Somebody, there was an investigator here. Maybe the, the younger man is an investigator. There could have been an investigator here who uh, looked more deeper into you and realized that someone here was missing valuable information 
and it changed everything like someone found out something about you and it changed everything about what another person was lying to them about when it came to you ah uh, what the hell am i tapping into somebody's realizing that you're someone here who deserves high honor like This person looking deeper into you and finding out the truth is allowing them to pass some sort of test or allowing them to get some sort of promotion, maybe even in their career, as well as you passing some sort of test. Someone here could be a doctor, a teacher, a judge, a sales assistant, a tax agent, a therapist. Someone who decides for you. Pressure, demand... Dispute, discussion, negotiation. Yikes. I'm also getting like somebody here was kind of using you like a stepping stone when it came to like uh, trying to get some sort of success as well. Like someone was trying to step on someone's toes in that backfired. Why do we have self reflection? Oh my god. Listen, whoever I'm speaking to. <laughs> You're about to become self-aware of what your true calling is, Chow. It's going to lead to some sort of great happiness. Maybe there was someone here trying to to make that decision for you, like trying to tell you what your what your purpose was. Like I said, like I've been saying to people, no one can tell you what your sole purpose is other than God. Okay? Don't be going to other people being Never mind. Let me shut up. Let me be quiet. I don't want people to get mad at me. What do we got, Kali? It comes from within, Joe. You're being asked to rest at this time. Damn. Someone here could be sick as fuck. You might be getting communication here that someone's sick. They're feeling weak. Okay. Someone here wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you about this. There's someone here who's now experiencing blockages. For fucking with you. We got thoughts here. Someone's thinking about uh, thinking about you a lot. Okay. Someone's trying to figure out how to sort of solve some sort of problem here. I'm also getting like someone here could be having uncontrollable thoughts at this time. <clears throat> Maybe someone's thinking about you heavily. Maybe someone's realizing like... Um, someone's trying to figure out a way to get together with you, okay? There's some sort of secret someone wants to tell you as well. I'm also getting someone here was promised retirement or something. That's why they went through with something. Somebody's going to be put into prison. Somebody's sick to their stomach because they know they're probably going to get locked up or some sort of secrets are going to be revealed. Okay, or, or someone, somebody knows that whatever they were trying to do to you was forbidden and it backfired. I'm also getting like someone here might end up going to a psych ward where they have to get locked up. Someone trying to trap you, trap themselves. Okay, this could be literal prison or just like, you know, spiritual prison. This is somebody here who could have put you through a lot of stress and fear or that's what they've been, that's what their goal was, to torture you in some way. But now this person going to be tortured. Someone never thought you were going to survive or escape some sort of torture that they were putting you through. Some sort of fear tactics, putting you under pressure. So that you wouldn't go after something here. Or so that you wouldn't believe in yourself. So you wouldn't be optimistic about your future or something. This is some sort of justice and truth is coming out, child, about somebody doing something weird. What about revolution? There could be a Virgo in here, or a Capricorn, Taurus, something. Something about a house. Some of you, something about a real estate. Maybe somebody here is a real estate agent. Okay, maybe they're, the, the way real estate is done is going to be 
revolution revolutionized. Okay. There could be something here about some sort of land or property that's going to be given to you or something. So whatever this is, your ancestors here is definitely bringing in some sort of dramatic change. Okay. And eclipsing out people, places, and things that don't, that aren't in alignment with you. Some of this younger man. You could work with this younger man. Okay, you could have dated this younger man. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord have mercy. The hell is going on? Somebody something's going on with somebody's lungs, child. Something's going on with someone's lungs. Someone can't breathe. The truth is somebody's sick. Sad news, self-pity, somebody wants you to feel bad for them because they're sick now, or they're going through some sort of crisis, okay, or they're experiencing some sort of psychological disorders. Who the fuck is this? This is justice, though, because of everything this person was doing to you. This person might pass away. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who is this person that's sick? This is someone here who admires you or they look up to you or something. Gemini. This could be a Gemini or someone who has Gemini somewhere in their chart that could be sick. Ciao. This could be somebody's mama. We got tiger. Somebody's Chinese zodiac uh, sign could be of the tiger. Who's this person that's sick? This could be a soulmate for some of you. This could be an ex, a friend, a sibling, a family member. Someone here could be a Libra that could be getting sick. Okay, or there's something here about justice. Okay, this could have been somebody here who was um, telling a lot of lies. They were doing something very uh, negative with communication. Okay, this could have been a feminine energy. All right, that is going through some sort of bad karma, some sort of illness, some sort of sick, some sort of blockages. All right, some sort of uh, discomfort here. Okay, someone knows that the cure is to communicate the truth or something like that. Um, someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the pig. You know the date. This could be yours or somebody else's. We have dragon. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dragon. You know the date. Or someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rabbit. Okay. Those could be the signs of the people that are going to be experiencing some sort of sad news or something. Or they're going to be the people that want you to have pity over them. Or something. Or these are the people that you let go or... Whatever, justice is on your side, whoever I'm speaking to, show. These cards are so pretty. Um, yeah, justice is on your side. You're definitely starting something new, okay? It's kind of be worth it. Well, yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? hell is going on there's like three young men that were involved in this situation there could have been a woman calling the shots to three younger men in order to do something to you calculated they're doing something calculated there's an older woman doing some giving orders to three younger men This is something you're going to find out. <sighs> cults. They could be all part of a cult. We have cults here. Okay. Or they they operate under some sort of hive mind. They could have planned to um, plant something on you. Okay. Or frame you for something. Your boyfriend could have been involved or your ex-boyfriend. Somebody here could have literally been sleeping with the enemy. Something here could have happened 11 years to 18 years ago okay or there could be 11 to an 18 year old involved in this situation or these are the ages of the young boys these could actually be children we have validation 
Someone here wants validation, whoever this calculated person is. Someone here's first, middle, or last name could start with a Z. Or there's the end to some sort of cult here. We have listen, Linda. You need to pay attention to your surroundings and what your, your intuition is telling you about your ex-boyfriend or someone's boyfriend. We have pay attention to their undertone, yeah. Someone here could be coming to you crying because they need validation from you. This is this calculated person whose life is being turned upside down for fucking with you. We have shooting. Someone here could be shooting up jerugs, or there's something here about a shooting that you might find out about, okay? We have sentenced to three to six months. Someone here could have gotten sentenced three to six months for shooting someone, okay? Or something. Or planning a shooting, or some sort of hidden agenda to do that the hell is going on spirit <sighs> what, what is this hidden agenda someone had a hidden agenda against you because they had a lack a lack of growth they were experiencing a lack of growth in their life okay I also feel like whatever this, whoever invested in doing some sort of hidden, getting involved in, in, in doing some sort of hidden agenda against you, they didn't get anything out of it, okay? All these people are going to be remaining stagnant in their life, okay? Something was not worth the effort coming after you, yeah. Someone here was trying to get you to release limited, or blah, blah, blah. someone here was trying to get you to be um, in the Eight of Swords, feeling self-entrapped, okay? not believing in yourself or something putting you through crisis but that's that's not happening you escaped something you escaped being stagnant you escaped being bogged down someone was playing with your mind somebody here could have been dabbling in mental magic this could have been a gemini okay a taurus a queen of wands in reverse my way or the highway this could have been a Leo, don't have to be, or these are your signs, flip over needs to go. There was too many irons in the fire, that's why something didn't work out. Too many people wanting to be the chief. This is, this is positive for you though, that there was some sort of disorganization and that there was too many people with, too, with in their ego trying to destroy you. <laughs> okay, they were like bumping heads with each other. Something like that, y'all. You guys could have been dealing with a lot of low vibe, uh, low vibrational people, people who are very pessimistic, very demanding, okay, very temperamental. You escaped this person or people. You were set free, or this is your justice is to be set free from these individuals, or this person, okay. When it came to winter, sur winter, I can't even talk. Winter solstice, okay. Yeah, you, you found the light within. Someone was hoping that you wouldn't find the light within. Somebody wanted you to continue to invest in getting validation from this person, but you didn't. You could have went into hermit mode. You could have went through. You could have went within. You could have done the shadow work. You tied up any... Um, Getting something like you sealed the cracks. Somebody was like using something to their advantage when it came to you to have you self-sabotage or... Tell me more. Well, I, let me use these. Something's no longer working. January. Something about the month of January is significant. Okay. There was some sort of hidden agenda that was supposed to go down in January. Okay. Or you could have paid attention to somebody's undertone in January and cut cut them off. We have you need a DNA test. Okay. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Somebody here crying. 
somebody's crying that someone's getting a DNA test or a paternity test. We have Aquarius, Pisces, Cuss. This could be you or somebody you're dealing with. Okay, this keeps coming out. Something here about a sex tape and a cult. There's a cult here that film each other sexing or something. I don't know. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a D. Tell me more. We have black cat. You guys could be seeing a lot of black cats. Something about Bassette. Bassette could be um, protecting you at this time or was protecting you in January or since January. From somebody here. Someone here could be an Aquarius. All right. You're about to experience some sort of good luck here. We got Virgo. Somebody here could be a Virgo. Or there's a Virgo here that was being really calculative. This person could be crying now. Okay. This person could have been very cold to you. Or there was a cold person in this cult that was really trying their best to like fuck you over. We have evil eyes. Somebody definitely is giving you the evil eye at this time. This could be an X for some of you. We have 70 years or above. Someone here could be in this age range that was going around giving orders or demands to younger individuals to do something to you, but you were protected from this. There could be a new more a newborn or a three-year-old that's involved in this situation. A Virgo could have given birth to a newborn or or they have a three-year-old with somebody and that that child is not that person's child or whatever okay um that's for some of you not all y'all we got pisces aries cusp someone here could be a pisces aries cusp maybe this is the true sign of the father of the child or something we have movie prince of egypt someone needs to let you go they've been told to let you go Whoever this ex-boyfriend is or ex-girlfriend who's giving you the evil eye. You're being freed from whoever this person is. This person could be a smoker or you're a smoker. Flip it where it needs to go. We have I drive by your house. Okay, gross. So somebody here drives by your house. This is under the Virgo. This is under the calculated person. Okay, so this could be somebody's baby mama that's driving by your home, trying to do something weird to you, crying. <laughs> I don't know. We got secrets exposed. Maybe somebody wants to come towards you and, and expose somebody's secrets. Whoever's in some sort of cult here. <laughs> I can't. What is... <laughs> People are losing their shit. That's what, that's what this feels like. Like, someone's doing too much. For real. <laughs> somebody's doing too much. Okay, Jerug trafficking could be involved in this situation. Maybe this is the person that wants to get you involved in some sort of legal issues. Someone's first, middle, or last name could start with a J. Okay. This could be you or someone else. You could be someone who's being viewed as someone who's very intelligent or someone here thought they, they were more intelligent than you and they getting caught up. Someone here could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cusp. All right. We have trying to make you feel guilty. What was I saying? Somebody here is trying to make you feel guilty. That's their whole plan now. Okay. Their plan is now to drive by your house and make you feel guilty. Someone here could be gay or someone wants to expose someone for being gay or you're gay. I don't know. Or there's a sex cult that's all a secret gays. I don't, I don't know. There's something about a gay sex tape. Um, we have poison food or water there's someone here who wants to poison your food or water or try to okay something about somebody's brother we have inside job bank teller okay child there's a lot of people losing their jobs we got a lie light on the stand somebody here definitely light on the stand about you in court someone is trying to get you involved in some legal issues child this could have been someone who's a sex a sex addict that is trying to get you into legal troubles. Okay, maybe someone was in court trying to say you were spreading some sort of STD. Someone here has freckles. You could have freckles or someone else has freckles. What is going on, spirit? We have a gossip about you. So somebody here is gossiping about you. Whoever is going to come in and try to make you feel guilty. You need to protect your energy at this time from this person. Who the fuck is this? 
Who's this person that's gossiping about them, spirit? Okay. Whoever wants to come in and try to offer you some sort of finances or offer you something that's too good to be true, that that's going to be all glittery, but it's not gold. Okay. Um, this is someone here who hates you today and loves you tomorrow. Who is this person that's gossiping about them? We got cancer. This could be a cancer that you need to be careful of. Okay. Tell me more. We got twin flame. For some of you, this could be your own damn twin flame that was guilty of gossiping about you. Okay. Um, or your false flame was gossiping to your twin flame. Or a cancer was gossiping to your twin flame about you. Flip over needs to go. Who is this person? Someone wants to come in and nurture and support you. Maybe your twin flame wants to come in and nurture and support you. And there's a soulmate of theirs that does not want that to happen. This could be a family member, a friend, or an ex. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a goat. Note the date. This could be you or someone else. And then we have rooster. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rooster. Okay. This could be you or someone else. Who do they need to protect their energy from, child? You might need to protect your energy from a feminine energy. Somebody that you only knew for a short amount of time. This could be a Gemini you need to protect your energy from. Or someone who was talking shit. This could be someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of a tiger or somebody you've known for a long time. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of an ox. Somebody could have shot somebody. This is what you might find out. Somebody here could have shot somebody because they were threatening someone else to release some sort of uh, same sex sex tape or something. And they didn't want that to happen, so they took them out or something. We have someone you blocked will try to bump into you, so you're gonna have people. This could be an this could be an ex for some of you, or a coworker that's gonna come in and try to bump into you, try to go to the same places you are going to. They want to come in and convince you to shut up about something. Maybe there's something here about Jerug smuggling, okay, or some Joe. Someone's definitely trying hard to keep something hidden, but it's not going to be. Someone here could be a tarot card reader. You could be a tarot card reader. There could be a tarot card reader that's a Sagittarius. This could be you or somebody else. Or there's some sort of secrets here that's going to be getting exposed by somebody. Okay. I'm also getting like... Somebody here was getting a lot of readings on you. That's all I know. Let me see. We got fear. Somebody here was trying to put fear into your heart. It says false evidence appearing real. Whoever's giving you this evil eye. We got karmic mother. We got evidence of dna what is this so there's some sort of proof or evidence about somebody here trying to steal something from you okay when it comes to some sort of bank teller or when it comes to somebody trying to get younger men to do something heinous to you we have the only thing to count on is change okay so something definitely is going to be changing and is going to be happening in a very dramatic way we have um, copycat. There was someone here who was definitely copycatting you. This could have been a Sagittarius, a Pisces, or an Aries. They could all be part of some, some weird sex cult. You need to know that you passed some sort of test here. Okay. <laughs> That's why you're going to be receiving some sort of high honor. We have snake. Someone here was trying to snake you, but you got protected. Okay. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a snake. You're being asked to be fearless when it comes to something here. And then we have, I feel stuck without you. So there's somebody here who definitely feels stuck. This could be the person that was trying to copycat you. We got 1244. You guys could be seeing this number. You're being asked to stay balanced, stay grounded, stay focused in knowing that you are safe. Somebody here is is going to be going, is getting in trouble for this, okay? Or someone here was trying to get someone to do this to you because they stole your money and lied on you in court or they could have said that you stole some sort of money from them. Something, child. Listen, sometimes these readings, the energy is so gross. Like... 
for real. Let me see. It's justice for somebody's secrets to get exposed. It's justice for for somebody to come in and tell you some sort of truth here. Okay, they're going to be deciding to... Maybe this is somebody's bold action that they're going to take is to come in and be bold and fearless and tell you the truth about something. They know that it's the right thing to do. Okay, they know that it's the fair thing to do. This could be someone here knowing that it's um, it's the right thing to do to go tell authorities about something. about somebody being manipulative or being obsessed with another individual. Okay, this could be a Knight of Cups in reverse um, that someone is disappointed in or knows they need to tell, tell on. Okay, someone here is trying to avoid some sort of consequences. They don't wanna deal with some sort of negative consequences here, so they're gonna save their ass. They're gonna say something, okay, either to you or to authorities, all right? It's whoever's a part of some sort of cult here. The cult leader could be a king of, king of swords in reverse. This could be a Libra. Don't have to be. Um, this is someone here who's very cold, controlling, sarcastic, lacks integrity. They have a sharp tongue. They are drunk on power. They are a loose cannon. Lord have mercy. That's the person who's part of this cult. This is someone who feels like they have some sort of power and authority over you. Okay. Someone here despises your Queen of Cups types of energy. Someone here despises your loving energy, your intuitive ability, your empathetic ability. Okay. Your ability to be emotionally connected with others in the world. Okay. <laughs> Somebody, someone doesn't like that. You're psychic. Someone, this, somebody mad. Whoever this King of Swords in reverse is. Yeah. This person's in some sort of Eight of Swords energy. This person's going through a lot of negative thoughts at this time. This person could be going through some sort of psychological issues. This is someone who has, um, someone feels stuck as fuck. This could be a drama king or queen. You're gonna be some, you're gonna be getting some sort of communication about this person going through some shit or going to jail. Someone here was trying to stop something from happening, okay, for you. Someone was trying to stop you from taking off or trying to just block your forward movement. Some of you might be having to take an airplane ride somewhere soon. Someone here is really trying to stop some sort of four of wands energy from happening. Some sort of love. It always boils down to some sort of relationship. Someone here really does not want you and someone else to be together. Okay? And the six of swords keeps coming out. You're going to be... You're overcoming some sort of hardship or conflicts or whatever this person tried to put you through. Some sort of obstacles and challenges. And now it's your time to experience better times ahead. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's your it's your justice to experience some sort of peace, especially when it comes to the love department or when it comes to stability or when it comes to your home, okay? And when it comes to support in general, having support, someone's going to come in and talk to you, Joe. Drunk off power, huh? Weird. What's this weird ass god again? <laughs> this copy this copycat here was really um crossing your boundaries. They're still trying to remain persistent as well. They've been doing something to you since uh, autumn, the autumn equinox. This person is stalking the shit out of you. Okay, but this person now is going to be... This copycat is experiencing some sort of dead end. They're, they're going to be reaching their final chapter or when it when it comes to them trying to give you some sort of um, burdens or 
heavy load. Something's done and over with. Someone's no longer going to be able to copycat you with this Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Wands. This copycat was also a test of your faith, okay? Some shit. Let me see what's going on. What else is going on? This calculated person thought they had something perfect, but it's not perfect. <laughs> Someone's life is out of control. Someone's going to come in and try to be kind to you instead of calculative and cold, but child, please. You already know. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Okay, let's see. I'm moving on. What else do they need to hear, spirit? When it comes to this energy. What else do they need to know? Ooh. We have Karma's Kitchen being held accountable for all actions. So all these people who was involved in trying to block your forward movement stop you from being in some sort of loving balanced harmonious relationship or having your manifestations or your dreams or your goals or whatever come true they're all getting they're all being held accountable for everything that did they did and everything that they have done in the dark is going to be exposed okay something about flan is of significance someone here could be hispanic don't have to be we have inner battles unable to break free from vices so someone here could be definitely addicted addicted to drugs or alcohol or sex or something okay someone here is trying to fight some sort of urges um i don't know or maybe this is something you're going through you need to don't self-sabotage child nothing is worth um that we have bad trapped in habits somebody wanted you to be trapped in habits and now this person is going to be trapped in bad habits what's this we have on blast somebody's secrets dark secrets are going to be on blast they're going to be aired to the world this is somebody here who wanted your reputation to be so badly they wanted so badly for your reputation to be destroyed this is what's going to happen to them though so it is what it is. Someone here is going to be experiencing some sort of um, humiliation. Or someone here is about to get betrayed by somebody in their own circle. Somebody in their own cult. Coven. Whatever they got going on. We got energy, lack of motivation, lazy, feeling drained, loss, lack of faith. Someone's losing hope. And they're losing energy. And they no longer have access to your energy. We have lack of clarity. It says unable to see or think clearly. Someone has is going through some sort of mental confusion or some sort of psychological break. We have exes united, so those that hurt can't come together. So you had people that you had to escape from because they were either emotionally abusive, psychologically abusive, physically abusive, financially abusive, whatever it was, okay? Verbally abusive. These, these, all these people, when you took back your power and walked away from them, they all teamed up together. They linked up together. Like a weird transformer <laughs> in order to try to defeat you, bro. Okay. Wow. This could have been ex friends, ex boyfriends, girlfriends, baby mamas, baby daddies, bro. All coming together, acting like they're the victim <laughs> to cover up each other's lies for each other, to make you look like a horrible person. These people just block their own god dang blessings. Someone here could have been using some sort of Egyptian magic or calling upon some sort of Egyptian deity in order to do something fucked up to you. That shit is back firing. Someone here don't know who you are. They don't know your bloodline. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me what's going on? What's going on, spirit? We have op. It says an enemy is wanting to get close to you to gain something against you. Be careful. Like I was saying, someone's this calculated person. This could be a Virgo. Don't have to be. But there's a calculated person that is realizing that's driving by your house, by the way, that's realizing that whatever tactic they were trying before, it's not working. So now 
they're going to come in and be all nicey nice to you. Be careful. Don't trust this individual. Set up. Somebody's trying to set you up, child. Okay? Someone's going to try to plant something on you. We have don't trust them. They have something up their sleeve. We have 777. Seven, seven. Luck is on your side. Someone wants to block your luck. Okay? They don't want they they want to put an end to your 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 lucky energy you got going on or your blessings, child. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. Yes. We have 1111 awakening. It says everything is falling into place. All right, and this enemy is watching that happen for you. They want to stop it. We have underactive chakral. It says they their lack of creativity and originality is making them jealous. This is your copycat. They want to come in. They want to set something up for you. We have tight hold. They are not over it. Let my people go. Somebody needs to let you go. Touch not my anointed. This person is not listening. So the hammer is going to go down. Your ancestors are going to step in and, and make something change. It's going to be dramatic. This person is being warned, y'all. We have searching. It says you have the drive and motivation that they are looking for. Yikes. Okay, we have big mad bitch. They can't understand how you are so favored and it's eating up at them. So someone here can't stand that you're favored. They're, they can't stand that no matter what they try to do to you, it don't. Whatever they're trying to do, it don't work. Okay. Who is this enemy they need to watch out for? This op. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dragon. Okay. Who is this op or their enemy that's trying to get close to them? Spirit. This could be a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker. That's your enemy. That's going to try to come in with a new approach. Trying to be all nicey nice. Don't trust the bitch or the dude or whatever. S stay, keep your distance from this person. Or this person could live at a distance from you. Okay, this is a feminine energy. This is a feminine energy doing this. That's your enemy. It's your op. Be careful of this person. Why do we have set up? Someone's doing something to you because they, they want to keep their bag or they want to keep some sort of money or something. This could be... I keep getting it's a Virgo. This could be a Virgo. Don't have to be or I'm speaking to a Virgo. This could be somebody who's in your family or an ex of yours. Don't have to be. We got dog. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a dog that you need to be mindful of. I already know who this is for me. So a family member and a coworker or a friend or all three of them were all working together to do something to you, and now they're switching up their plan. They're gonna try to be. They're they're gonna come in and try to ask for forgiveness or be nice or something like that. Try to tell you like a little bit of a truth, um, but not all the truth. Okay, they're just doing so so that they can. Um, Get close enough to set you up with something. Yeah, this is a friend that wants to set you up. A friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker. You don't trust them. We got Scorpio that came out. I could be speaking to a Scorpio, or I could be telling you, watch out for a fucking Scorpio, or there's someone here that wants some sort of revenge against you, okay? They want something to end for you. They don't want you to go through some sort of rebirth. Someone here could be a Sagittarius Scorpio cusp, okay? Or you're dealing with a Sagittarius that is a friend, an acquaintance, or a coworker that's trying to set you up. Be mindful. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of a rooster. Know the date. This could be you or the person that's trying to set you up. Okay. Someone here could be a Pisces. This is a hidden enemy that's going to come in and try to have... A, they have something up their sleeve for you, child. Okay. They might even come in and acting like they're spiritual when they're not. This person's only coming in for just a, a fun time, not a long time. This is someone here that needs to get nearby you. Or this is someone here who's already near you. Somebody jealous of you, child. Obsessed, really. <gasps> I can't stand that they can go Admirer. So someone admires you, but they hate you, bro. This is a feminine energy that's admiring you. Or I'm speaking to a feminine energy that's being admired. And someone wants you to... Someone wants to end you. This is... Go get a life. Go get... Go get a hobby. Go do something. Please. What's gonna be... What What do they need to hear, Spirit? I'm gonna get out of this energy. What do they need to hear? Mmm. 
We have galaxy of possibilities. It says your potential is, a va is as vast as the cosmos. Reach for the stars and explore the universe of opportunities within you. Ciao. You're, you're about to reach your full potential or something here. Okay. Someone else sees that you, ha you have a lot of options and they're mad about it. We got mirrors of self. It says reflection isn't just about what you see, but how you perceive and grow from it. Okay. So there's something here about reflection. Go within to see what you need to change, to see what you need to push through, to see where fear might be holding you back, okay, from reaching your full potential. What else is this? We have crescent of transition. Life is a series of phases like the moon. Embrace each crescent of change. Something about the crescent moon, child. You need to look it up. Or you need to get that book that I was talking about earlier. We have Harmony's Echo. It says, find solace in the synchronicities of life. They are the universe's way of confirming your path. Listen, you already got the answers, baby. They're all around you. Open your damn eyes. Open your eyes. I got to get big sister on you, okay? Open your damn more. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's happening? What else they need to hear? We have 070 compromise, ciao. It says, let go of what no longer serves you. Stop holding on to grudges. Express your emotions and aim towards a compromise where there's a lack of understanding. It's best just to move on. The truth will set you free. Someone knows they need to tell the truth to you, Joe. <laughs> they know they do. I also feel like someone, someone's a, somebody here could be aware that you have already let go of some sort of grudge here. Like you don't care. If anything, you could be disappointed in this person, and that's as far as your emotions go. Or maybe you just don't, you're just indifferent. Whatever the case is, there's someone there's a one-sided situation going on here. A one-sided dispute. Someone here is upset with you while you're chilling. Someone knows they need to say something to you or something. I don't know. But this is so that they can set themselves free. We got 10-10. It's up to you. It says it's time to put those long cherished ideas into action. It says you will soon come into contact with the appropriate individuals, circumstances, and resources. Eventually, you will experience joy as well as brand new opportunities. Trust in the process. This is flipping beautiful, Chow. And then we got five, 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 clarity. Okay. It says you aren't a victim of circumstance. Rather, you are the beneficiary of it. If that weren't the case, life would be pretty dull. You will set yourself up for success in the long run if you are willing to adapt to this shift. Everything is working out for the best. At long last, you are accomplishing what you set out to do. Everything will work out perfectly in the end. Something beautiful is going to be working out for you, baby. I love it. Okay? Let's see what else they need to hear, spirit. What else do they need to hear before we bounce? Okay. Listen, trust your gut. Trust your gut. We have infuse your life with action. Don't wait for it to happen. Make it happen. Make your own future. Make your own hope. Make your own love. Amen. Tell me more, spirit. What else they need to hear? Get off your ass and do it, baby. We have remember your dreams and fight for them. Remember your flipping dreams. Don't give up on them. Don't tuck them in a drawer somewhere. Because, oh, it's not the right time or it's not perfected enough. No one cares about that. Nothing is ever going to be at the right time. Nothing is ever perfect. Take action. Tell me more. What else do they need to hear? We have success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines. Practice every day. 
Amen. That's true. We have, for hope is but the dream of those that wake. Wake up, child. Wake up to your destiny. What else they need to hear, spirit, so we can bounce? We have you rock. Don't you ever forget it. What else they need to hear? We got bitches get stuff done. That's right. Tell me more. And then we got be fabulous, bitch. That's what you're being told to do. Be your fabulous self you were born to be. That's what you guys to do, okay? Listen, this is going to be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.